Hey everyone, it's Gan from Peppy's Tech Suit, and as an update to our last video where we compared the optional 45 watt charger for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus to the 15 watt charger that comes in the box, today we are going to be adding in the Samsung 25 watt fast charger. At a cheaper price and lower wattage, will this charger be the perfect balance for those trying to charge their devices faster while avoiding the 45 watt charger? Let's find out. Like I said in the last video, I've been getting between 8 to 10 hours of battery life on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Of course, this will vary depending on your use. If you're performing a demanding workload at max brightness, you'll probably need to top up in the middle of the day. That's where this charger comparison comes in, starting with a 15 watt charger. Now this one comes included in the box with the Galaxy Tab, and it uses a USB-C to USB-A cable and supports adaptive fast charging. Next up, we have the 25 watt and 45 watt chargers. Both of these have a similar design with the 45 watt being larger and heavier. Both also include USB-C to USB-C cables and the 25 watt charger supports super fast charging whereas the 45 watt charger supports super fast charging 2.0. With that out of the way, let's check out the charge times. As mentioned in the last video, with the 45 watt charger starting from completely dead, my Tab S7 Plus went from 0 to 44% in the first 30 minutes. Then it went up to 85% after an hour, and finally it fully charged the tablet at just under an hour and a half. Next up, the 25 watt charger. In the first 30 minutes, I went from 0 to 31%, then 60% after an hour, after an hour and a half, I hit 87%, and 100% at an hour and 50 minutes. Finally, the included 15 watt charger. I reached 17% after 30 minutes, 35% after an hour, 53% after an hour and 30 minutes, 71% after 2 hours, 88% in 2.5 hours, and finally 100% at just under 3 hours. So you can see there's quite a big difference in charging times between both the 25W and 45W chargers as compared to the included 15W charger in the case of the Tab S7 Plus. The 25W charger is just a bit slower than the 45W charger, but it only comes in at half the cost. This might be the best option for those who want to cut the charging time by a third, but are worried about any potential long-term degradation from the 45 watt fast charger. If you will only charge overnight, you can probably stick with the original 15 watt charger as you won't see any benefits from upgrading. If you're worried about degradation from fast charging, the fast chargers do slow down for the last 20% of charging to protect your battery, but if you're still worried about long-term battery damage, you can always turn off fast charging from your settings and turn on protect battery which limits your device to 85% charge. Personally, as a power user, the convenience of super fast chargers outweighs a small degradation over time for me. If you are interested in the fast chargers, ask yourself how you use the tablet, how often you charge it, when you charge it, etc. So hopefully this video gave you some insights into the different chargers for the Galaxy Tab. I have a lot more videos coming out soon about the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, as well as some unboxings and reviews too. Definitely subscribe and turn notifications on if you want to join in on the fun. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.